Italy is notorious as the highway of narco trade in Europe. The Italian mafia, who have got direct links with the cocaine producing cartels of South America, act as the conduit for drugs into large parts of Europe. But on the 17th of April, the Italian police had a major success. They stumbled upon what is now being described as one of the biggest drug seizures in Italy's history. Two tons of cocaine, whose street value is estimated at over $400 million, was found floating in neat waterproof packages off the coast of Sicily. But far from patting their backs for the drug seizures, the Italian police are now looking at the daunting task of how to stop the next consignment of drugs from reaching the Italian shores. A surveillance plane that was flying between Italy and Greece looking for migrant boats stumbled upon something completely unexpected. 70 waterproof packages neatly tied with rope and flotation devices along with a GPS tracker to be easily found were drifting in an area between Messina and Catania along the Sicilian coast. The Italian police have refused to give more specific details of the location. As they continue their search for other such packages. But how did this consignment of drugs reach the Sicilian coast? According to Italian authorities, the neatly waterproof packed drug packages must have been dropped by a cargo ship or a fishing trawler to be picked up and transported to mainland Italy by the Mafia. Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni in a tweet described the operation by the Italian authorities as brilliant. Sicily is the home of the Cosa Nostra Mafia, immortalized in the Godfather films. But the police suspects the hand of the powerful and politically connected Ndrangheta criminal group. It is Ndrangheta that controls the bulk of cocaine that flows into Europe. Consider this. After cannabis, cocaine is the most consumed drug in Europe. An estimated 15 million adults in the EU are said to have consumed cocaine at some point. The sale of cocaine in Europe in 2020 was estimated to be worth $11.1 billion. In January, the Italian police, with a lot of fanfare, had announced that it had finally managed to arrest Italy's last godfather, Matteo Messina Denaro, after a 30-year-long manhunt. In his heydays, Denaro used to boast that he would fill an entire cemetery with his victims. But the fight against organized crime and drug trafficking gangs, if anything, has become more sophisticated in Italy. In Drangheta, which earlier specialized in kidnapping for ransom, has now emerged as a global network for narcotics trafficking. The Ndrangheta criminal group is now said to be more profitable than McDonald's and the Deutsche Bank combined, raking in billions of dollars annually by smuggling and selling cocaine. And the Italian government is nowhere close to cracking down on this crime syndicate. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.